Welcome to our Java programming journey. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new project and write your very first Hello World program. I'll show you some cool shortcuts to make coding easier and walk you through them at the end. So don't skip this video. All right, let's get started by opening IntelliJ IDE. Now to set up a new project, I go to File, then New, and then Project. A setup window pops up where I name this project Hello World. You can call it anything, but we'll go with that for now. I leave the location as it is, select Java as the language, and pick IntelliJ as the build system. For the JDK version, I'm choosing 21. After that, I click Create at the bottom. Now on the left side, you should see the Hello World project in the project pane. Our next step is to create a Java class, which is where we'll write our code. So, I go to the source folder, Right click on it and select New Java Class. I name it Hello World again to keep things simple. Once that's done, I want a bit more space to see my code, so I'll make the left panel smaller. Now, you'll see that IntelliJ has created some basic code for a new Java class that says Public Class Hello World. Think of a class as the main container or building block for a program. This is where we'll add all our instructions. To make the program run, I add a main method by typing public static void main string args. If you're new to this, let me break down what each word means. Public. This means anyone can use this method. It's like saying, this door is open for everyone. Static. This means you don't need to create an object to use this method. You can call it directly from the class. Think of it as a tool that's always available. Void. This means the method doesn't give back anything after it runs. It simply does its job without returning a result. Main. This is the name of the method where Java starts running your program. It's like the starting point for the race. String args. This part lets the program accept information when it starts. We'll dive into what this means later, so don't worry about it for now. Inside this main method, I'm going to add the line system.out.println hello world. This is a simple command to display hello world on the screen. Here's what each part means. System is a built-in class in Java that lets us interact with the system itself. Out is a part of system that represents the standard output or the place where we display text. println is a method that tells Java to print whatever we put in the parentheses and then go to a new line. Next, let's run this code. You'll see two green play buttons, one next to the class name and one next to the main method. I'm going to click the top button to run everything. If you look at the console, which is the output area, you should see hello world printed there, which means our program is working. Finally, let's talk about how we can make our coding even easier by using shortcuts. These are abbreviations that help us quickly write commonly used code snippets. First, to add the main method using the shortcut, I simply type PSVM and then press the tab key. This automatically expands to public static void main string args, saving us time and ensuring we write it correctly every time. Now inside the main method, I want to print hello world again. Instead of typing out system.out.print hello world, I can use the shortcut SOUT. So I type SOUT and press TAB. This expands to system.out.println. And I just need to fill in the parentheses with hello world. This way, I can easily print text to the console without typing everything out fully. It's a huge time saver. If you look at the console, you'll see hello world displayed just like before. Using PSVM and SOUT not only speeds up our coding process, but also reduces the chance of errors because the shortcuts generate the correct syntax for us. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like this. And feel free to drop your questions or feedback in the comments below.